This is Twit. Yeah. NASA is sinking its flagship science center during the government shutdown. Good yeah, Lord this, and breaking laws. What's going on? Well, this is actually a huge story. This is actually from uh, Space.com's own Josh Dinner. He's a friend of the show. He's been on the show Josh. Uh, for a while. And, uh, and Josh has, that's my thing, uh, Rod. <laughs> I know, but I'm trying to catch up. I dig it. I dig it. But he, he actually has had uh, about the last six months, he's been working on this story, talking with people that are at Goddard now, that have been let go from Goddard, that have taken the retirement from Goddard, um, uh, just to try to find out what's going on there, uh, the closure of the GIS, uh, 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 like the Climate Earth Science Center in New York. And and how like the president's budget proposal actually has that going away with some of the some of the the functions being you know funded in. There's just a lot to this story, and it's really hard to like parse it down. So the TLDR is that there are uh, is there is a Senate report and a lot of people working and and no longer working for for Goddard who feel that what's going on there, all the cuts and stuff, while we still don't even have a budget and we're in the middle of a government lockdown aren't fully on the level. In fact, the Senate report that came out uh, recently says that they think that there's a lot of illegal stuff going down. And we did hear from NASA saying, no, they, they, you know, uh, dispute all of those claims uh, point by point. And it took a lot of doing uh, to, to kind of put all of the different parts of the story together. So hats off to Josh for, for doing it. It's one of our longest stories, if not the longest story we've ever written uh, uh, for the site. And, um, and it's coming out at a really important time right now. So, uh, you know, if you're worried about NASA, this is not going to, uh, I think, uh, make you any happier. Not but if you're, you less, yeah. if you're trying to understand what's been happening behind the scenes, this story has like a lot of, of stuff that really puts things in perspective. Uh, it's a long read. Very long. It's How like, many words like, this time? It, it's like 9,000 words long. So, what? Yeah, it's long. It's when like, I was writing for you guys, you said, okay, keep it under 1,100 words. Yeah, Don't go well, long. Things are different now, Rod. Things are different now. Jeez, but, it's only I mean, been like, 10 years. Jo jo Josh is, Josh is uh, you know, he, he, he attended protests where Goddard uh, workers were protesting NASA headquarters. He has emails. He has uh, Ooh, uh, internal memos. He has redacted memos. emails. Yeah, yeah. That's getting in deep. Uh, he has anonymous sources that he's vetted. Uh, he has NASA sources. He has uh, uh, outside scientists. You know, Casey Dreyer, friend of the show, uh, mm -hmm. talking about the value and the impact of planetary science. Uh, uh, and this one, climate science, etc. cetera. Um, uh, one of the, the most telling comments is from a, uh, an, an engineer uh, that, that you know, we called Claire, you know, because we're is an anonymous source. Who said that that the word climate they see it as like the c word they can't say it like outright they have to like dance around it if they're going to try to get any kind of work done uh you know about understanding that that part of earth science right now and it's a really you're saying this is because of the administration's sensitivities right because of the admin yeah but about the the kind of uh denial not denial outright but just they don't make it a priority anymore right. at least in the funding that's going on uh but i will stress that we did talk to nasa we did present all of the findings um, uh, and have some 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 back and forth, and then of, of course NASA has seen the the actual article uh, today and has responded uh, even more so. So we've been incorporating all of the, of the, all of those responses uh, uh, in, into the story uh, as well. Uh, and and I'll, I'll point out, you know, they, they do dispute that, that that all of the claims from the Senate and from these workers that it's illegal. They dispute that pretty um, strongly, saying that everything is is you know, uh, in line with appropriate uh, actions. So, so other than, than pushing back on that, which feels a little disingenuous, but okay. What about the whole, uh, you know, these massive layoffs during a shutdown when people are already furloughed? Aren't there some rules about that somewhere? Well, I mean, that, I think that's like the open question. NASA says that, you know, it's, it's, it's fine because they're following the Trump administration's directives for all of this. Uh, and that, and uh, meanwhile, uh, the the unions, you know, uh, are saying it's not fine, and that they, 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 these these layoffs and these reductions, uh, these budget reductions, are going through uh, improperly. Uh, now, remember, the unions are in their own kind of uh, a bit of a uh, of a pickle because uh, NASA's federal union was in the executive order uh, that the Trump administration signed, saying that they don't really have a right to collectively organize. Uh, and you know, I think it was NASA and NOAA 
and uh, a couple of other agencies that were on that list. So we don't know where that stuff kind of lies right now and what the bargaining capabilities are versus what's allowed versus all of that stuff. So we know just as much as they want us to. Now, isn't Goddard where the planetary data system and the there was a five letter acronym for that. The huge ND something, database. something, something. NSAAC or something. It, I mean, it, it, it may be. I have to admit, like, that was one of the older databases, you know, that, that, that yeah. they, it had. And um, the National something space, like, it, it's like it's got all it's the so records. It's so embarrassing because I <laughs> quoted this to somebody yesterday and now I'm come GSSDC or something. Mm -hmm. But it was, I mean, it was great. You just had to, you're right, it was older and you had to have your own client software to actually decode the stuff but if a you lot of wanted that stuff is to still see there. yeah if you wanted to see a specific uh set of map coordinates on sunny mercury you could type it in gssdc and uh there it was anyway yeah, speaking it's not, of it's, coordinates it's, it's not stuff like that that's being affected it's like you know they they ran the climate.nasa.gov yeah i know website. Just, they shut that down it's like that kind of stuff there are things that goddard that we would miss if yeah. it wasn't goddard anymore if you like what you just saw, be sure to check out This Week in Space. You can catch us on your favorite podcast app or subscribe to our YouTube channel using the links below. Thanks.